So we're set for the first semifinal in the Glory Middleweight Contender Tournament. Canada's Simon Marcus squaring off against American Wayne Barrett. And the first thing that stands out for me is that Simon Marcus has seven times the amount of fights as Wayne Barrett. But Barrett uh, is an inch taller and has a two and a half inch advantage in the reach department. That's going to be a very big deal because of the way Simon Marcus rages straight in. Three judges assigned by the ISKA will score each fight using the 10 point must system. The winner of each round receives 10 points. The opponent nine or less based on knockdowns, cumulative effect on the opponent, and clean scoring strikes. All tournament fights are scheduled for three three minute rounds, while the two championship fights are scheduled for five five minute rounds. In the tournament semifinals, two knockdowns in a round or three and about is ruled an automatic TKO. In the tournament final, in the rest of the card, three knockdowns in a round or four and about is ruled an automatic technical knockout. Let's go back to Tim Hughes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this tournament semifinal scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, he is a former Golden Gloves boxer. His young kickboxing career, five wins with two losses, four of those five wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, two inches tall, 1.88 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 186 pounds, 84.4 kilos, fighting tonight out of New York City, USA, here is Wayne Barrett. His opponent standing at my left and fighting out of the white corner, a WBC Muay Thai champion and WLF kickboxing world champion. His professional record, 40 wins with just two losses, one bout scored even, 24 of those wins coming by knockout. At six feet, one inch tall, 1.85 meters, he weighed in at 185 and one half pounds, 84.1 kilos. He's here in Dubai tonight from Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Simon Bad Boy Marcus. And your referee in charge of the glory wing is Stefano Valenti. Simon Marcus undefeated in Muay Thai, looking to gain his first victory under the glory banner. Wayne Barrett looking to end a two-fight losing streak. Fight. The bell in round one set for three three-minute rounds in the Glory Middleweight Contender Tournament. Wayne Barrett in the black gloves, Simon Marcus in the white. Barrett coming off a loss to Jason Wilness, who will be competing in the other semifinal against Alex Pereira, while Simon Marcus coming off a terrible loss in China, looking to get back on the winning track. So not only are they hungry to advance, but they're, they're looking to well, right the ship in their kickboxing course. Yeah, Simon Marcus assured us that he was going to fight strategically because in his last couple of fights, he has not, and he's paid the price. Marcus, a Muay Thai master known for dominating in the clinch, but here, Steven, in their glory kickboxing rules, once you clinch, you need to initiate a knee attack or the referee will intervene. Yes, they will. And what we're seeing right now is two guys that really respect each other both of them cautious, both guys coming into glory off of a loss. And Wayne Barrett had a chip on his shoulder all week, very quiet, saying that he didn't want to make any excuses for the loss to Jason Wilness, hinted that he was injured but did not elaborate. While Simon Marcus, calm, cool, and collected, the Canadian growing up under, well, under tough conditions in Toronto, was in trouble and expelled from school, found martial arts. Wayne Barrett was bullied as a child after being born in Jamaica. His family moved to New York. And he also turned to martial arts as a way out. And they find themselves here vying for the opportunity to challenge Artem Levin, the Glory Middleweight Champion, on May 8th at Glory 21 in San Diego. But first, they must win two fights in one night. This kind of fight favors Wayne Barrett. Stay on the outside, pick his shots, move in and out at ease. Because Marcus, if, if he rages in, like he always does, straight in, he's probably going to eat some leather. 
but he's also going to do the same thing if he stays on the outside like this. Under a minute remaining in the opening round. A getting to know each other round thus far. Left kick followed by a right kick that was blocked by Barrett. Barrett with a straight right hand down the middle. Marcus from the southpaw position. Good head movement by Marcus. 30 seconds left in the round. Barrett's keeping it real basic on the outside, but his movement makes him unorthodox. Final 15 seconds of the opening round in the Glory Middleweight Contender Tournament. Very much a feeling out process here at Glory 20 Dubai. I like the punches from the Set for round two here at the Dubai World Trade Center. Wayne Barrett and Simon Marcus. The bell goes. Both of them have faced Joe Schilling in the glory ring. Marcus's lone appearance in glory at the last man standing tournament last year where Artem Levin was crowned the inaugural glory middleweight champion. Stephen, you called it one of the best kickboxing fights you've ever seen, where Marcus forced an extra round but was stopped by Schilling. Barrett, meanwhile, one and one against his fellow American. But even Schilling, at the end of the fight, thought that Barrett maybe should be 2 and 0. Oh. Yeah, Joe Schilling really gave both these guys hard fights and uh, had mixed results, obviously, because Marcus got knocked out. Barrett split one and one. And Marcus really had Joe Schilling in, in trouble, but Joe Schilling w engaged him in a slugout, and that's not going to happen here with uh, Wayne Barrett. Of course, Joe Schilling, a two-sport star, coming up has a fight in Bellator as Marcus delivers a left head kick, pumps out the jab that Barrett is able to roll with. Check that low kick. Barrett is being a little bit more conservative than we've seen him. Push kick by Barrett. There's the jab through the guard. He avoids the counter jab from Marcus, who whips off a left body kick. Backing up Barrett. A minute and a half left in the round. Midway point of the fight. Marcus going with two low kicks, and there's a third one. That's a very smart strategy because you want to slow Barrett down. His movement is one of his best weapons. That sets up his punches. Marcus on, has the edge in total kicks landed. Barrett has a higher connect percentage as he avoids that left high kick along the ropes. Fight. Okay. Fight. Referee warning Barrett not to catch that kick. Under a minute remaining in the second. We are still waiting for someone to dictate the terms of this fight, Stephen. Right, exactly. I mean, both of them are waiting for the other guy to do something. And I understand that. You know, you don't want to lose, and you're facing a guy that can knock you out. But you really want to get things done and make the judges know, hey, I won that round. Barrett scored with that combination. 30 seconds left in the second round. Avoids the left kick from Marcus. Block that kick. Lead right hand from Barrett. 
Final 15 seconds. Both fighters again, very conservative, appear to be very cautious. So we are headed to the third and final round of our opening semifinal matchup in the Glory Middleweight Contender Tournament. to get aggressive here and land some bombs, especially on the uh, up the middle. Simon Marcus, with that Muay Thai stance, is open for the uppercut. And Wayne's got to make things happen, because if this slips away, it's nobody's fault but his. You must lean his body, right? OK. To the back. Come on. Hold. Third and final round of this semifinal matchup in the Glory Middleweight Contender Tournament. Lots on the line for both athletes. Marcus been training in Thailand with Buakab Banchamek, formerly Port Premick, looking for pointers on adapting from Muay Thai to kickboxing from a well fighter that's done it better than almost anyone, Stephen. Yeah, Buakab, one of the greats, really, to make the transition from Muay Thai into kickboxing. Marcus realizes it takes time. You can't just run right in there. We now, even, we they even begin to open up here in the beginning of round three, throwing punches. Yeah, we even saw Joe Schilling have an arc in his uh, transition from Muay Thai into kickboxing. You take away the clinch, which we had right there, and you take away the elbows, it becomes a completely different game. Marcus holds victories over Joe Schilling and Artem Levin under Muay Thai rules. Right uppercut by Barrett. Minute gone in the final round. Barrett fighting from a southpaw stance now. Ducks underneath that left kick by Marcus. Barrett throwing a crescent kick. One of the most underutilized kicks in the history of kickboxing. Barrett on the move. Misses with the right uppercut inside. Marcus swarming him. Jab through the guard by Barrett. Minute and a half left in the fight. Marcus knee checked that kick. Left kick blocked by Barrett. Stop! Stop fight! Marcus is pressing the action, and Wayne is trying to shoulder roll his way away from those punches, but when he tried that against Jason Wilness, it didn't work. A minute left. Combination blocked by Marcus One loads Stop. on Barrett, Stop. pinned in the corner. Right. Fight! No elbows allowed in glory kickboxing. This has really uh, not turned out to be the barn burner we expected, Morrow. Very much a cautious affair between Wayne Barrett in the black gloves and Simon Marcus in the white, an anticipated matchup that has thus far failed to deliver in the hype with 20 seconds now left in the bout. And Barrett utilizing his footwork. They crash into each other, but unable to. They smother each other's offense. So in our first semifinal matchup, we are headed to the judges' scorecards here in Dubai. Hey, hey, hey. We'll have Listen the official the bell, right? decision Listen coming up here from Glory 20 Dubai.
Moro, I think that was a close one because I, I think Barrett won that first round. The second round was kind of close going back and forth. He might have given it to Barrett, but Simon Marcus pressed the action in the third. And it seemed like Barrett was just held back. So I don't know. Uh, tough one to score. I would probably go with Barrett on that. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a split, though. But neither guy looked really impressive to me. And a lot on the line for both athletes again, looking to get back on the winning track. Barrett fighting out of the Church Street Gym in Queens, New York with Jason Strout, the bearded fellow in his corner. His younger brother, Andre Barrett, also in his corner. Simon Marcus, who again, a Muay Thai maestro, still clearly making an adjustment from the science of eight limbs, which of course allowed his fearsome clinch. Undefeated prior to joining Glory again, lost that memorable affair against Joe Schilling at the last man standing tournament, and then has since gone one and one under kickboxing rules in China, becoming off a brutal knockout loss. But has the best attitude about getting back on the horse, though, Moral. Yes, he does. But not a lot of horsepower on display in this <laughs> one, my man. Exactly. So plenty more kickboxing action coming your way from the Dubai World Trade Center and a lot more coming up next month. The big guns are fired up for Glory 21 San Diego. For the first time ever, Glory presents an All-American qualifying tournament. Four heavyweights, 1,000 pounds of combined muscle power. Winning two fights in one night, the victor will become the American contender and chase his dream to a world title fight in Glory. In the main event, current Glory middleweight champion Artem the Lion Levin defends his crown against the winner of tonight's middleweight contender tournament. Don't miss it. May 8, Glory 21, San Diego. So Artem Levin watching back in America with vested interest. His first challenger will be determined in this one-night four-man middleweight contender tournament here in Dubai. Back in Dubai at the World Trade Center. The first semifinal is in the book. Stephen, let's look at the Glory World Series strike stats. Well, I'll tell you, wow. in the kick department, it was all Marcus, but uh, in Were the there punching. Any? <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, Barrett definitely outgunned him in the punches, so it's close. I was so close. If you numerically add him up, it still might be a draw. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we send it to the judges' scorecards. They score this bout 29 28, 29 28, and 30 27. A unanimous decision for your winner, who now advances to the tournament final, Simon Marcus! Wow. Simon Marcus hands Wayne Barrett his third consecutive loss. He picks up his first glory victory via split decision. Well, I'm shocked. I, I probably would have given it to Barrett, but uh, the fact that it was unanimous kind of shocked me. Yeah, he's